What's going on guys? It's your boy Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with another Bape Hypebeast sneaker review. And before this video starts, I want to give a thank you to Kenshi Toronto for sponsoring this video. We're giving away some Bape hoodies, some Bape coach jackets, and much more. So check out the Gleam Link giveaway in the description down below. The giveaway is lasting for a couple more days, so make sure you go enter if you haven't yet already. There's a bunch of different ways you can enter, so best of luck all of my Bape fans out there. Also, I was recently in Japan, so if you guys want to see my Japan trip and all of the Japan vlogs, this was my second time in Japan, then check out the link in the description down below for all of my Japan vlogs, or you can check it out after this video. But today, we're taking a look. I should have I should have cleaned these before the video. They're a little bit dirty. Anyways, today we have another Bape sneaker review. Today we have a look at the Bape Ape stuff. This right here is the Bape version of the Converse Chuck Taylor. As you guys can tell, very reminiscent of the classic, all-time classic shoe. I think it's the best-selling sneaker in the world still to this day. Now, before we get into the sneakers themselves, I want to show you guys the box because the box is actually pretty dope. It sort of has this like Burberry vibe to it. Here's a look at it itself. It has a Bathing Ape branding on the bottom right, right here. We got the uh, sizing tag and all that information on the very front. And yeah, it's just a pretty dope box. It's pretty small, pretty uh, <laughs> pretty small box, and uh, it looks cool on display. So if you're into displaying your shoes, it's a nice little pedestal. This was a sneaker that took me a while to acquire. This is a sneaker that doesn't restock very often as well. So if you want the sneaker, or if you're watching this video right now, you're either very curious as to what the hell this thing really is, or you're already a big fan of the shoe and you just want to learn more about it. Now this right here is my third colorway of the sneaker. However, I have sold off my first two colorways that I acquired in the past. I used to have the black colorway, that's my very first one, and I used to have the red and camo colorway, which was like half red on one side, half camouflage on the other. Pretty dope. But this pair right here is in that first camo yellow camo colorway all around the sneaker. It's really dope. It matches this hoodie and that's sort of why I'm wearing it right now. I mean, you can't even see the hoodie, can you? This sneaker is insane. It breaks a lot of necks. When I had it on display at SneakerCon, or I had the other ones on display at SneakerCon, the red and green ones, people were like picking it up and it had a lot of questions about it because this is a sneaker you do not see very often. If you see someone on the streets wearing this, you can basically give them automatic street credit because it took some effort to get that shoe. These right here, I also want to say are more limited than Yeezys. So yeah, if you have these, you know that you have a very dope pair of sneakers. Or if you see someone on the streets again with them, you know that they, they know their <laughs> Bape is not actually allowed to sell these outside of Japan. Now the story behind these, please correct me if I'm wrong in the description down below, but I've talked with people up there in Converse and they told me that at one point Converse was like selling the license to create Chuck Taylors and uh, Bape ended up buying it. However, when it came to the time where Converse was trying to buy back all of the licenses throughout the world, they weren't able to buy it back from Bape. And I think the Japanese government was like, yeah, Bape doesn't have to sell back the license. That's why Bape is able to make these Converse Chuck Taylors, these apes to this very day. Now, the one thing that gets to me is why is Bape still able to make Air Force Ones like the Bape does? I did a review on those. I'll leave a link down below this thing right here. And uh, I, I don't know. I, I have to ask Nike why Bape is still able to make Bape stuff. So if you didn't get these from Japan or through another method, like buying them at a store or a consignment store, your best bet to find these online is on grailed.com. So with that said, let's bring these sneakers up close and show you guys some of the details. Now this shoe uses an all canvas upper. We got this camouflage print all over the upper of the shoe. We have the shark face on the outsides of the sneaker. And then on the inside of the shoe, you have no shark face, but you you have a YKK zipper in black. So it's a nice attention to detail that they use some really high quality zippers. Another nice touch about the zipper is that the inner panel, like the inside lining part right here, uses a really nice high quality smooth leather. And I really like the fact that they do have zippers on these because I hate trying to relace and, and put on the Chuck Taylors again after tying them up. It's just a pain in my butt. So instead of untying my shoes, I just like to unzip it, slide my feet out, and when I'm running out of the house, throw my foot in, zip it back up, and you're good to go. Taking a look at the back of the sneaker, you have that yellow camouflage as well, but at the very bottom, usually where it says, I think, All-Star 
yeah, it would say Converse All-Star at the very booty of the sneaker. It says Apesta, a bathing ape with the gorilla face, the bape face right there dead center. Now the laces. The laces on the bape apestas aren't your typical laces as seen on all the other Chuck Taylors out there by Converse. They sort of have this like texture to it. I can't really describe it, but it sort of has like a little roughness rough edges to it. Keeping the laces in place, the Bape Apes that use these silver eyelets all throughout the shoe. And then even on the inner side, just like they do on Converse Chuck Taylors, if you guys look closely, they have the uh, two little eyelets there as well for ventilation. If you are hot wearing these on a rainy day, it's not gonna be the greatest of times. Taking a look at the tongue, you have some apes of branding instead of the Converse Chuck Taylor branding. Really nice touch there. And then looking at the midsole of the shoe, you have that one black line all across the white midsole. And then when you take a look at the toe box of the shoe, a nice little detail that separates it from a Chuck Taylor is that instead of having this right here. Like the regular texture you guys see here on this Chuck Taylor 2, these instead use this like a babes to star pattern all across, pretty dope. Looking at the outsole of the shoe, you have these horizontal lines running across and then you have Bape branding right here at the very bottom. Now, in terms of comfort and sizing for the Bape Apesta, I would recommend going a full size down. These fit just like regular Chuck Taylors and their comfort level is exactly the same. So it's not the most comfortable sneaker in the world, I have to admit that, but uh, because there's a little bit more room because I went half a size up, I included an extra insole. So I put in an ultra boost insole and now they're actually quite, quite comfortable. So I have no problem with the comfort level on these shoes. There you guys have it. That is the sneaker talk review of the Bape Apesta. Let me know what you guys think about these sneakers in the comments down below. Are these a cop? Are these a drop? Would you add these to your collection or not? Do you feel like these are just some glorified Chuck Taylors or do you really mess with them like I do? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course hit that thumbs up up button to enter that bape giveaway in the description as well if you haven't yet already and with that said i'll leave you guys with some on feet footage coming up next